an accomplished and highly successful classroom teacher, a fledgling administrator who welcomed and thrived in all of the leadership tasks he had been assigned in his school, and as an individual who, perhaps most importantly, was new to transition. Indeed, as the application Matthew submitted for his current position almost 18 months ago was submitted today under our new contract, he would not meet the minimum requirements, as he had no previous experience in the provision of services to transition age youth. So, even as a bright, articulate, compassionate individual with a tenacious work ethic, Matthew had a tremendous learning curve to manage in assimilating to one, the very high standards of life as an administrator for Eastern Suffolk BOCES, and two, the enormous responsibility that he would assume as a new transition specialist for the risk task. Knowing Matthew, even for only a brief time, however, I felt confident that through the passing of time and exposure to the incredible resources available through our agency, including HR's new employee mentorship program, where Matthew was paired with one of our Lighthouse award-winning administrators, Mr. Keith Berry, that Matthew would come to understand what being a professional, a leader of leaders was all about. I have not been disappointed. I was certain that in partnering with Ms. Kathy Pantelides, in my estimation, the very best transition specialist in New York State, that Matthew would come to grasp in time the extremely complex and constantly evolving partnership landscape, philosophies, methodologies, and content areas that drive the deliverables of his work. Thus, that he has developed such an incredible depth and breadth of understanding and expertise in such a short amount of time is not altogether surprising. There is, however, one thing, perhaps the most important of all, which has been and continues to be shocking to me. As described above, Matthew came to us in regards to both his experience as an administrator and as a professional focused on transition as a relatively empty vessel. My role seems simple, pair him with those that know best and allow them to fill him up. Seems like a logical approach. And based on what I've already shared, you may suspect that approach worked. However, I must tell you that nothing could be farther from the truth. In more typically <coughs> evolving professionals, the more people learn, the more perspectives folks are exposed to, the more ideas they welcome and contemplate, the more complex they themselves become. The more effort they generally put forth to demonstrate how smart they are, how much they know, how capable they are, the more folks tend to eschew guidance of support in favor of a blind belief in what they are sure they know based on their own now expert opinions. I stand here before you today, or wish I was standing here before you today, to let you know that the true beauty of Matthew Jurgens lies in the fact that the more he learns, the more he does, the farther he goes, the more he is exposed to, the more simplistic and pure he becomes, the more transparent his vision, his values, and his beliefs become. In the same way that the great Italian, I had to throw that in, sculptor Michelangelo <laughs> knew that the statue was always embedded in the marble and that his job was simply to chip away at and wash away the superfluous material. Information, research, trials and tribulations are merely the chisels and brushes that have come to reveal Matthew's true essence. That of a humble, selfless, consummate team player who each and every day works tirelessly to improve outcomes for students with disabilities. And above all else, his time at the risk task has revealed that Matthew is, if anything, humble. He's going to come up here soon and take very little credit for what has been an outstanding beginning to his career as a school leader. He will credit Kathy, she deserves it. He will mention Keith, especially since I put him in the speech. <laughs> Matt is quick on his feet like that. He may even mention me. Know this, that Matthew would have been and will always be 
an outstanding administrator, no matter where he goes and no matter who he works with. Because every step of the way, every triumph and challenge will further reveal the essence of an incredible educator, colleague, family man, and friend. It has been a pleasure to take the first few steps of his journey alongside of him. Ladies and gentlemen, Administrator of the Year, Mr. Matthew Jerry.